I'm Amy and today we're going to learn how to apply for a permit. Once you log into your account, you're going to select building and create an application. You're going to read your general disclaimer and check the box. Click continue application. At this point, you're going to select the type of permit you want to apply for. Today, we're going to standard permit and I'm going to select residential. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click continue application. Here you're going to search for the address of the property for your project. Once you have your street number and street name into the appropriate fields, click search. This will pull in all your information, your address, your parcel, and owner information. At the bottom of the page, click continue application. Step one, you're going to select from your account and continue your application. This is where you're going to give a detailed description of the work. I'm going to just add in new SFD. At the bottom of the page, click continue application. Step two is your permit details. This is going to be all your general information involving your project. You will need to fill out anywhere there is a red asterisk. When you get down to the trades affected, this is where you're going to select any trade or contractor grouping that you're gonna use for your project. For right now, I'm only gonna choose the builder, but you do have to answer yes or no to each one. At the bottom of the page, click continue application. At step three, you will be looking up the contractors to add to your permit. Click on look up. Then you're going to select your license type and search. Once you have all your contractors and subcontractors added to the permit, you will click continue application. This gives you a chance to edit your information for your contractors. If everything looks the way it should, go ahead and click continue application. In step four, you're going to acknowledge that you are uploading documents click continue application. In step five, this is your review. This is where you have a chance to edit any of the information that you have inserted for the permit. At the bottom of the page, you will have a checkbox saying that you agree to the above certification. Then click continue application. At this step, you will be paying your application fee. You're going to select check out and it will take you to our third party payment system. At that time, you will have the opportunity to make the payment and once you do, 
your pay, your application fee will be paid and you will have the, the opportunity to upload your documents and the permit will be ready for review. If you run into problems or are having difficulty, you can always call us at 352-527-5310.